The burning question, and yes, the pun is intended, the burning question whenever you review any sunscreen, like I will the Dr. Suracle Sika Regen Anti-Dust Sun Gel today, the burning question always is, does the actual SPF of the product match the one on the label? Well, I obviously can't say for sure, as there has been no official statement that I could find, but I have a few pointers that might indicate it isn't, and I will get to them and everything else I have to say about the product, of course. Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly these products that work for your individual skin concern. So, if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. Does the Dr. Suracol Sika Regen Anti-Dust Sun Gel offer the claimed SPF 50? So while you obviously can't judge a product from its ingredient list alone, you can definitely get some hints by looking at it. First of all, the Dr. Suracol sunscreen had only two filters, Uvinyl A+, and Uvinyl T150. While both of them are amazing filters, even if they were used in the maximum concentration allowed, that would give you an estimated sun protection factor of around 29, according to the BASF sunscreen simulator. Again, formulation matters more than individual ingredients, but that's a pretty strong gap in estimated versus claimed protection. Second, it is allegedly made in the same manufacturing company that formulated the Dioclairs and the Purito sunscreen, so it wouldn't be far-fetched to assume they have similarities. If you compare the ingredient list side by side, the first third is very, very similar, with the main difference being the marketing ingredients like plant extracts rather than the main players like the filters. And third, the sunscreen is currently out of stock wherever I look, which might indicate that it is undergoing reformulation. Based on all that, I would not count on getting more than the SPF 27 Purito reached, which is why I made a point to use it up before it got all sunny here in Germany. With that out of the way, let's continue with the review as usual. What the Dr. Suracol Sika Regen Anti-Dust Sun Gel SPF 50 claims. Dr. Suracol's Sika Regen Anti-Dust Sun Gel with Sika Active Ingredient Centella Complex repairs and balances your skin while protecting it from UV rays and pollutants. It soothes and regenerates damaged, sensitive and irritated skin. Texture and scent. What I immediately notice when applying the product is the herbaceous smell this has. Not unpleasant, but not what I expect from my skincare. It feels like a hydrating moisturizer on the skin and it was easy to apply a generous amount. How to use the Dr. Suracol Sika Regen Anti-Dust Sun Gel. Due to my doubts regarding the protection factor, I made sure to only use it when I knew I would be spending all day indoors anyway without close proximity to the window and less than 30 minutes uh, outdoors in total when going to and from the office. I also made sure to use a generous amount, as you should always do using the three-finger method as demonstrated here. The cream spreads easily and leaves no white cast. Now I can show you that if I use a mirror instead of a camera upon application, I do not end up with a white dot on the bridge of my nose. Dr. Suracol Sika Regen Anti-Dust Sun Gel Ingredients. We talked about the filters already, so I am not going to touch on that any further. I like that the formula contains glycerin for hydration and niacinamide as one of my all-time favorite ingredients, but want to point out that there is perfume, fragrance and limonene, geraniol and linalool present, all of which could be problematic for people sensitive to that. Does it live up to its claims? No. I don't think it does in terms of protection and wouldn't exactly pack it if I had sensitive, irritated skin either. How does it compare to Purito Unscented Centella Sunscreen? This is of course purely hypothetical as none of them is available anymore, but the Purito one contains no fragrance, no essential oil components and has extra compounds of the Centella Asiatica extract like Madoka Seed added, which is why, hypothetically speaking, I would put that one. Even though I liked it as a hydrating moisturizer with some added sun protection during the winter, I would not repurchase even if I could and would not encourage you to do either. Please enlighten me in the comments below if you have heard any official statement from the brand that I might have missed. I am going to link to more videos on the screen now that I think you might enjoy and I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye!